you doing? Hello, hello. Good Sunday afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you. Thank you for joining. How are we all doing? What's everyone doing this Sunday? Or what have we done? Anything special? Celebrating those last, last fleeting moments of the summer. Football. Oh, football. You know, I didn't anticipate that. That might be a problem with these smell at Sundays. Football. See, I don't watch football. I have nothing against football. Hello, Nicole. Hello, Carol. Rachel. Uh, all right, folks. So, kind of a lot to mention, but very relaxed day. Not a lot of things to do, but I, I do need to address uh, a bunch of stuff. And the heading does not lie. I do have a Yankee candle. In fact, I've had it for a while. I just I, I found it. I found it just sitting in uh, my office, and I'm like, whoa! I forgot to show everyone this candle. And that's going to be a brand new United States Christmas 2007 Yankee Candle. So we're going to break that out in a moment. I'll show you what it looks like and uh, I'll break it down for you as best I can. Uh, but let me do what I always do here. Let me try to pull up the video here. <laughs> I don't know. There's a squeaking noise. Maybe zero. I don't know. I don't know what that noise is. It doesn't sound like zero. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. The Kindle Enthusiast. He's now live. All right. Let's turn the volume down. This way I can see all of your comments right here. Plus, I have a lot of links and stuff to share with you. So I really will be spending a lot of my time here um, at... The computer, you know what? This noise has got to stop. What is that? There's a creature down there. There's a, there's a creature. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a little bit. No, see, that that has to stop. That cannot continue. It looks like a squirrel or a muppet, one of the two. My hair is doing crazy things. Hello from Nova Scotia. Lorna, how you doing? You know, I was, I really wanted to go to Nova Scotia this season. I wanted to go to a lot of places this season. I did not watch the TLC Borden special because you know what I was doing? I was editing my special, but how was it? How was the TLC Lizzie Borden special? And if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, I think the show is called Kindred Spirits. Uh, they did a program on uh, the the Lizzie Borden house, the home, and from the, the promo that I saw, they were inside the house, they went into the basement. So if anyone watched it, it's going to be really interesting for you to see my video and contrast it because you're going to see every single room in the house. But uh, Carol, I'm sure you can find it. If you missed it, I'm sure you can find it. Oh, and Rachel didn't, Rachel didn't like it. Was it over-dramatized? Virginia, hello, Cookie. It was fun and spooky. I was freaking out for you after watching it. Well, you probably have the same feelings when you see the video. In fact, okay, so, I don't like excuses. You know, it's something I learned early on, excuses are no good. But I do want to explain to you why there's been kind of this two week period where things have slowed down quite a bit. And I'm always saying it, but editing, 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 it's not an easy thing. Um, I've already put 20 plus hours in editing for my Lizzie Borden special. It's gonna be a long one. I was thinking about dividing it a bit in two pieces, but it's uh, it's going to be one long video uh, because I, I don't want to give you guys another another cliffhanger. I posted a teaser the other night, and I don't know if I should have done that or not because I don't know really what good that serves. Just tempts everybody, but um, 
you know, I'm really making sure that it's crafted well. Uh, a lot of you folks have reached out to me and I've heard the most wonderful things about people saying like, favorite episodes of mine, Norman Rockwell, Santa's Village, Sleepy Hollow. And those were filmed on, uh, you know, a, a, a little cell phone where I've really upped the game as far as photography is concerned, you know, multiple cameras. And, you know, it, it doesn't take a few moments to edit those. So once, you know, now that the Witch City Wix video is done, because that took a long time too, Liz and my interview, our conversation from Witch City Wix, two hours plus, two hours plus, and yet the video is about, what, 10 and a half minutes? And uh, again, multiple cameras. So there's a lot of editing, sound editing, uh, uh, you know, s silly stuff, color correction. It takes all the time, but it really does, at the end of the day, make the videos rewatchable. I want, just like that Sleepy Hollow video, just like the Norman Rockwell special or video, I hope that you folks maybe at some point will say, you know what, let's watch it again. I want my videos to have rewatchability. In order to do that, you can't make sloppy videos. So enough about that. The Lizzie Borden video, uh, soon, as soon, as soon as I am done here with you folks, I am going to finish it up. I actually even have the hard drives right now. Things are rendering. It's about 25 minutes right now. I'm guessing it's gonna be about another 15 on top of that. Um, Amy says it was an awesome teaser. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, just that little piece, which is really the opening of the video. Long time to do. Listen to the sound. You know what? Put headphones in. Put headphones in and listen to the sound. It takes a long time to put all this together. Hi from the, the, the UK. Becky. Yeah, I know Becky. Diane's here. All right, so let's start talking about good stuff. And Nancy says, I've watched all of your videos multiple times. This is what I mean. That really means a lot to me. Um, it's, I don't know. I, I, you know, like, you know how we watch like Charlie Brown's Christmas every year or the Great Pumpkin every year? I'm not comparing myself to the peanuts, but I would like to have these holiday specials have a little bit of rewatchability. So let's get down to that noise, because I don't know about you, I'm not gonna be able to take that noise much longer. There is a creature, a creature uh, of very small proportions at my feet. And like, again, don't don't be scared. It, it's frightening at first. It's gonna, it might be a little shocking, but I want to introduce to you a brand new member of uh, the Kent what are you doing? Here. It's okay. It's okay. A brand new member of the Candle Enthusiast crew. What? It's okay. This is the problem. She doesn't like it when things are taken away from her. I would like to introduce to you, uh, don't be frightened. It is, uh, this is Elsa. That's right, Elsa. She's a little a Maltese, a puppy. Uh, she's been in my life now for about two and a half weeks. And, and look at her right there. Look at that personality she's got. She's stubborn. She's very, you know, she reminds me of somebody. That guy right there, Santa Claus. Um, Santa's not happy about the new uh, introduction of uh, a new candle enthusiast uh, cast member, but uh, yeah, Elsa is going to spend a lot of time with us. I don't know about on the road. She is just a very young puppy. Maybe in about six months or so, uh, she will. Do you want to? Do you want to go on travels? Do you want to see historic places and smell candles and celebrate all of the, the small things, small and big things in life? Stop and smell the roses. Yeah. She's down, but she's too young. Now, thankfully, I, I, I've started to plant my roots in upstate New York, and I've always wanted a dog. I've always wanted a dog. When I was out in California, you know, I just I needed a dog. I wanted a dog so bad, because I've always had a dog in my life, but I couldn't have one, because I spent most of the day at work, and I couldn't leave, I can't, can't leave a dog alone, um, but uh, 
I have a very loving family who has already grown super attached to, see, see she can dance, see that? She's got, she's got some moves. Uh, I have uh, family, uh, family members who are very attached to Elsa, so they will be taking care of her while she's still in the early stages of life, I suppose. But then sooner or later, we'll get her on an airplane, we'll get her in the vehicle, she'll be traveling along with us. The squeaking noise you heard was this, this ferret. She loves it. Now why don't you go, why don't you go over there? And why not? Why not? I never thought I would be one of these people. But if you would like to follow Elsa on, uh, on Instagram, she's got a brand new page. She asked me if I would plug her Instagram page. And I said, you know what? I don't usually do that stuff, but why not? Why not? So if you want to follow her, there it is. That's going to be her Instagram um, handle name. Uh, Queen of the Snowflakes, or... All right, no, you can't, you can't have this. Or Elsa of Arendelle. I'm a Disney fan, folks. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I can't help it. For people who are just tuning in for the first time, they're probably very confused to what's going on. All right, now, now stay down there. Don't, don't bite the toes, don't bite the wires. All right. Yes, she, she's a character. So, that's done. She's going to hang out here unless she starts creating more ruckus. And while I'm at it, let's talk about, because it's still very relevant. If you've seen my Witch City Wicks video, my interview with Liz Fr uh, Frazier from uh, Witch City Wicks, uh, we had a wonderful uh, afternoon or morning uh, hanging out in her shop and I always talking about Witch City Wicks and saying how it is my favorite small, I don't even want to call it small anymore, let's just call it handcrafted candles, uh, candle company. And we worked out a promotion code, I've been pushing it really hard, not because I make any kind of financial gain on this. But I really want this. I want. I want this to really work for her. I want to show her that, like, you guys are into candles. Those of you that are into smaller candle companies and have that uh, um, that Halloween spooky sensibility. It's not gory. Nothing's graphic that she makes. It's just elegantly spooky. Uh, there's a 15 percent. Uh, Fifteen percent off your entire purchase at witchcitywix.com. You can't go in the shop and use this code, uh, but if you would like to get that discount, a lot of things are sold out. People will testify to that. As soon as she posts new products, they sell out almost instantly. But every Friday, it looks like she's going to be restocking. So if she sold out of anything, put it in your shopping cart. Wait until Friday evening when things are replenished place your order but that is an exclusive code for us for the candle enthusiast folks and a few more things on which city wicks and we'll continue uh, here's a if you go to the shop this is uh, you know you know you know the the, the the packaging and the all the detail the stuff inside there's matches all this wonderful things postcards um, if you order on the mail, uh, through uh, mail, or on the internet, I should say, your candle will come in this box. You see, this is the Sleepy Hollow candle from last year. This is their top seller. And when I say they, I mean Liz's top seller. Uh, last only moments. I highly doubt it's available in its large jar right now on the website, but it will be back in stock. I'm going to show you that real quick. Look at the label. She designs every single label. Soy wax. But here's the thing. People are like, all the Halloween stuff, it's so hard to get. It's so hard to get. It sells out all the time. So I want to bring your attention. Even though her Halloween collection is super popular and it sells really fast, um, don't just feel limited to her Halloween collection. I know the lighting is very odd right now. Hopefully, it'll fix itself. Don't limit yourself to uh, the Halloween collection because I would tell you, I would tell anybody that probably 
Uh, I keep saying probably, but it really is my favorite candle that Liz makes. It's a year-round candle. Uh, it's going to be called Holy Ground. I've showed you this before. And if you're thinking that's morbid or anything macabre or something like that, th th put that out of your mind. Uh, th th uh, in Salem, they celebrate their beautiful cemeteries. Many places they celebrate their beautiful cemeteries. And uh, there's nothing disturbing or gory or gothic about this. this. This candle is made with love, but it is the most bold, intriguing candle. It's great. It, it, it's, it, it's perfect. For me, this is perfect for autumn, for Halloween. However, I could burn this any time of the year. So if I had to suggest one, just one, I really, really hope that people go after holy ground and to promote it a little bit I figured would have a, another little photo contest very easy very easy stuff uh, I have these which city Wix cards they're uh, postcards let's see if we can get a good uh, image of this I've showed you this I think last week uh, that what's special about them though is that they're all personalized hand signed by Liz I have four of them and I want to give them away anywhere in the world Good news is, even overseas, these only cost about $1.50 to ship. So let's do a photo contest where go to Witch City Wix Instagram account. It's at Witch City Wix, right? And what I want you to do is pick out any picture, but look for a holy ground picture, or if you own holy ground, uh, take your own picture. That's uh, her Instagram account. And uh, repost it. Make sure you give them her credit. Repost it. Make sure you give the credit to whoever posted the photo. And write something. Write something about, I want to smell this candle. I like this candle. Whatever you feel about that candle, share your opinion. If you smelled it, if you've never smelled it. I will pick four people who uh, have a nice little description on uh, their post. What you need to do though when you post that photo, and I apologize to any of those folks who uh, are a little perplexed about Instagram and social media. I apologize. But what you have to do is if you repost a photo or take a photo and then you write something, just make sure you do this. This has to be included in your description. As you'll see, we have at which city Wix. This way, uh, Liz will be notified that you've posted a photo. And then it'll be hashtagged with which city Wix, which is good because fans will see your photo. And then at candle.enthusiast, that's my Instagram. So I'll be notified that you take or posted the photo. And then hashtag the candle enthusiast. So the fans of the candle enthusiast, all of you guys can. Uh, uh, see uh, which post uh, pictures you're posting. Be creative. Do what you want, but make sure you 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 you, you include those those handles and hashtags. Something about holy ground, and I'll pick out four. Be creative as you want. I'll pick out four, and if you care, uh, I will send you uh, uh, this. To me, Liz is a rock star. Having these signatures really cool. They say greetings from Salem, Liz Fraser, and if you want. Only if you want, I will sign one too. Uh, a different card or the same card, whatever you want. So which city Wix? And one more, one more. If I had to recommend one more that's a non-Halloween candle. I love Forbidden Apple Yankee Candle. I really do. I love Macintosh Yankee Candle. I really do. Um, but Liz's Black apple candle can you see that tumbler oh good god black wax uh, this is a supreme supreme highly authentic apple candle it looks great it smells fantastic and is totally suitable for Halloween so don't just be limited to her Halloween collection make sure you look around a lot of candles that are appropriate all right, which city Wix? Spread the love, spread the love. 
And if that promo code works out, we prove that it works out, we'll certainly uh, convince Liz to hopefully give us a code again in the future, but there will be other candle companies who will see that we're doing this and hopefully give us permission um, to get more promo codes, to get more exclusive looks at other candle companies. I wanna have a snowball effect going on with this. Okay, trying to get that light to work. Oh, this is a good, it's a good view. Oh, good. So a lot of people have already used the codes. A lot of people have reached out to me. Poison Apple. Poison Apple is awesome. So that is a part of the Halloween collection. So that's a tough call. That's a tough call. Uh, Poison Apple is a little bit of more Halloween things happening in that candle. But either one, either one. All right, what's on the list of things to do? Well, we do have a Yankee Candle to look at. Uh, we talked about that, we talked about that. Uh, something that I'm always forgetting, and I know Rachel's here, or at least she was. Rachel, uh, long, long, long time, con I, I'm gonna say contributor, but also a subscriber and fan of the Candle Enthusiast. She's done this all on her own, she's created the candle enthusiast fan page on Facebook. This 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 blows my mind because I had nothing to do with this, and she's taken the reins. If you're not a member, there is the link. Uh, make sure you join this group. It, it really is a great way. I won't be there to comment on any everything. That's not with the purpose, I think. Uh, but I it's a great way for me to give you guys a shout out if I need to contact everybody. So the more folks who are a member of the group, like today, for example, I said going live in 15 minutes. That could be helpful. Celtic Knight. I got my order into Liz. Oh, yeah, and, and I forgot to mention that the promo code is good until the 24th of September. So it's not like this forever kind of thing. Da, 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 da. All right, so da, da, da. we talked about Elsa, queen of the snowflakes. In fact, you're chewing. I hear you chewing. No more chewing. Get over here. She's growling. She's growling at me. You, you can't. You can't growl. I take care of you. I try to wash her face. Her face is a little messy. But she, you know, she, she, she's loving the applesauce right now. So, a little bit, a little bit hard to keep her face clean. Uh, some things that are coming up. Some things that are coming up. I have not forgotten about. Always forget the name. Always forget the name. Um, Coventry Creations. Like I said, guys, I've been very busy. And not busy being lazy. Busy with just uh, filming, producing. Uh, I was going to do these in the Lizzie Borden home, even though that it wasn't incredibly appropriate. This is, uh, uh, these are a collection called a Witch's Brew, all obviously different fragrances. Uh, I'm going to evaluate these. I'm going to break out the aroma prison for these. These are very, very modestly priced. Uh, those uh, folks who are part of the Candle Enthusiast Patreon Candle of the Month Club got this candle in the mail this month and uh, another as well. And it's not that I've forgotten. Trust me. I haven't forgotten. It's just... Lots happening. I think I might have another very special location for those. Maybe not super appropriate. But, uh, spooky enough. All right, so look at this, look at this. I'm just moving through along, 24 minutes in, okay, okay. All right. So look what I found. Now this, you've probably seen it. 
uh, I haven't stopped in at Bed Bath and Beyond in a while. They might have it. They might have it, and the website, yankeecandle.com, has it in a, a small single wick tumbler. But this is brand new for Christmas 2017. It's a US release. I do not believe, can't say anything for sure, but I do not believe that this will be uh, available in uh, the UK. All right, so it's called Cascading Snowberry. Cascading Snowberry. I love, I love these, uh, uh, you know, uh, adjectives. I, I, I love it. I, I don't know where they come up with these. Cascading, as if rapidly falling. Now she's got the Yankee Candle back. All right, this, we, this, uh, too much. Gotta put, you, you gotta go. You gotta go. Sorry about that. She's just too fidgety, making too much noise. There's cords down here. I don't trust that. Wow, the camera's shaking as I walk around. So let's take a look at this candle. Now, um, uh, cascading snowberries. What is a snowberry? Is it the same thing as a hollyberry or all of the other berries? I mean, these appear to be white. Uh, but it's funny that uh, the snowberry goes by two alternate names. Waxberry, that's appropriate, huh? And uh, the other one was, um, what's the other name? B -b 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 I have it written down somewhere. Um, ghost, Ghostberry, Ghostberry. So is this appropriate for Halloween too? Maybe, maybe. But there's only one way to find out. Now, I've smelled this candle plenty of times. Just want to warn you folks. And I'm not going to do a super in-depth for you, but uh, quickly give you a breakdown. I mean, by the color, by the name, you would imagine right off the bat you would have uh, big pine, like some kind of uh, balsam fir, Douglas fir, you know, uh, pine sap, pine cone kind of thing. And there is certainly... A pine thing happening here but it's not as powerful as you might think Ooh, it's getting bright and uh, that's really good because a lot of people can't take the pine smells or they can't take the really powerful ones I love balsam and cedar but I, I really can't even burn that one uh, unless I have a super big place to burn it which I don't uh, so a nice pine, uh, Yankee Candles is going to describe it as uh, cypress, which does have a little bit more of a sharp, sharp, high-pitched uh, smell, uh, the way I like to describe it, and I definitely see that. Um, but what's going to add to that is, uh, again, citrus. It's just classify it however you want to classify it. Yankee Candle classifies it as ozone. Usually when they say ozone, what they're talking about is a mixture of floral and citrus. To me, this is, uh, you know, like navel orange zest, a um, little bit of sourness, so we're, we're gonna get that also that perceived tartness. And uh, definitely a, a white floral thing happening here. Now, Yankee Candle uh, says musk and got to be careful sometimes because really to me uh, uh, musk it, I mean it, it is florals really um, um, it's how it's how it's derived these days so to me it's not so much musky in that it smells more like uh, like white florals like a clean white floral soap or deodorant or bathroom product of some kind you do get a lot of green, a lot of green, so fresh mint, mint. I almost wanted to say uh, winter green, which always leads me down to uh, birch. And there might be birch, who knows, who knows, because I do get, you know, there is that wood component to this. There's that wood side to the candle. Um, so maybe a birch, 
and if you don't know what I mean by birch, again, I'll just repeat myself that birch does have this natural wintergreen uh, smell and aroma. Let me do something real quick. Um, hide that reflecting light. I don't think we need it anymore. So think of think of the winter green. You know the 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 the, the kind of the sea foam color tic tacs. A lot of sweetness, a lot of candy going on in here, and I'm so tempted to say black licorice. Uh, but I think w w the reason why I'm saying black licorice is because of the association that I'm having with birch beer, or just root beer. Uh, you know, uh, birch is in root, uh, root beer all the time. So there is this kind of sweet cola frothy smell. Uh, so it's like a mixture of candy and clean bathroom bar soap. I love it. You know, you get that aloe, you get the, the little bit of the green grassy clover leafage. I, I enjoy it. I like it. I like it. And with a name like that, Cascading Snowberry, I mean, I, um, these adjectives, they're getting really creative with them. And I don't usually do this, but I have it right here in front of me. If you guys really want to know Yankee Candle's descriptions, just remember, just don't ever take these too literally, okay? So their description, Yankee Candle, a cool crisp scent of wintry snowberries and evergreens dusted with frost. Okay. Dusted with frost. By frost, I think they are talking about, they're trying to paint the portrait of that powdered sugar because it's pretty sweet. And then their fragrance notes, frozen ozone. Again, ozone Ozone does have a smell, like after a thunderstorm. Yes, it's, it has a, like a chlorine smell. But when Yankee Candle uses ozone, that's not what they're talking about. They're talking more of the fabric softener, laundry detergent, bathroom product ozone, which is a combination usually of florals and uh, citrus, and sometimes they throw things in there like amber and, and uh, patchouli and stuff like that. Water mint. So frozen ozone, water mint. I'm not sure what water mint is, but it sounds refreshing. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus and a green, uh, like a lime uh, fragrances. Eucalyptus and pine are used all together uh, a lot uh, in combination with one another. So I wouldn't disagree with eucalyptus, eucalyptus but it's, it's, to me it would really more, it supports and complements the cypress or the pine notes in, in this candle. Snowberries, now snowberries, uh, I don't know how much they really have a smell. They are poisonous. Humans can't eat them, but uh, many, many, obviously many animals in the forest, little creatures of the forest, eat them. Um, so by that, I think they're just referring to the overall tartness. There might be a little cranberry action here. But really, to me, I think it's the tartness coming from the citrus. And the base notes, amber, cypress again. I did not see that at first. Amber, cypress, moss, and musk. Musk is definitely that floral note. And moss is definitely going to add to that Irish spring, um, alpine soap theme fragrance. Overall, really nice, really nice. Pick this up at an outlet, but like I said, it is available in the, the, the tumbler on the website. I, th I think it's like $7.50 if you make uh, another purchase, and um, it might be at Bed Bath & Beyond, and readily available at your local Yankee Candle outlet if you are in the, the U.S. All right, so that's it. I went over my entire checklist. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Okay, so Nancy says, I could live in that ozone after the rain smell. Yeah, me too. 
if you watch the video I did, I think it was the first Aromatic Adventures video. It was really me just walking in the rain and thunderstorm. Um, there was a, a definite moment while I was making that video where I was uh, overtaken um, or at least hypnotized or bombarded with the smell of that ozone, that, that, that smell right after a thunderstorm. Kind of like this chlorine smell. Very nice. Meg's melts miss the puppy. Ah, oh. well, she'll maybe she, maybe she'll have to come back. Snowberry is a part of the honeysuckle family. Really good. I didn't know that. I had to look that up. When does the giveaway end, and what should we write in the description? Let's give it till next Sunday. And so, in the description, you know, uh, I mean, g go off your intuition. I mean, if, if this is a candle that interests you, tell me, why does it interest you? Based on my previous descriptions of this candle, what do you expect? What do you want this to smell like? What do you imagine it to smell like? Would you like that smell? Would you not like that smell? Anything you want, you know? I'll leave the creativity up to you guys. I'll send the cards. You bring the, you bring the creativity. Alright, so Celtic Knight. Speaking of your videos, I really loved, loved is in bold here. Uh oh. Am I, am I freezing? I was freezing for a second. Uh, your latest video with Liz in her shop rocked. Yes, it was super fun. Uh, I loved editing it, of course, with my OCD and that the, the OCD I have. And I'm not a perfectionist, but that that wanting to always be perfect. I can't help but notice that some of the shots are not color corrected properly. There's a couple pops in the audio that I don't like. The framing could have been better, but you know what? This is this is vlog. This is the vlog world, people. This is not the documentary world. Docu documentary world. Nobody else is complaining except for me. I just you know wish I had you know a little bit more coffee in my system at that moment to adjust the camera, make sure it was a little bit nicely framed. Uh, but she was giving me a significant amount of time in her very busy life to do that video. So I just wanted to be super quick about it. And quick we were not. We really hung out for the whole morning and afternoon. Uh, I'm glad you guys watched the Liz interview. I'm glad, you know, it's... Whenever I don't post a video with Yankee Candle plastered everywhere, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't usually get the amount of hits and views as, um, as, uh, you know the ones that are about Yankee Candle. So I'm glad you guys are watching Witch City Wits because we really do need to focus on uh, branching out and always keeping Yankee Candle kind of in the forefront. In fact, I'm going to be back at South Deerfield, Massachusetts, home of the Yankee Candle Village flagship store. God, I mean, it's probably only a matter of days now because they're usually it's late September they release their first wave of Christmas candles. So I'm going to go out, instead of purchasing all of them, I'm just going to go out and hang out at the flagship and just review them all there on site. Maybe I'll even do it live. This way you guys won't be hung up with the editing process. Hello, Lori. Nicole says, I like that you mix things up. Thank you, thank you. Sparkling Flame in the UK. I, I've seen the UK lineup, that may be one. I have pictures of all the new candles. There's just so many candles. I mean, the UK has already released a, the January collection. I mean, after all the work I put into the Halloween, I am just a little bit tired of searching for these, these candles early. 
Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that comment. Oh, look at this. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but let's say Grace, Grace B. I saw the interview and the next day I went down and checked them out, Witch City Wix. I will definitely be returning to Witch City Wix. The candles I got are incredible. Yes. I'm, I'm sure they are. And have you burned them yet? And are they burning good? Are they smelling just as incredible? That sounds like fun. Video live with the holiday collection. I need to talk to Yankee Candle Village and ask them if there's some way I can get, like hardwire the Wi-Fi or get a stronger signal because it's, it's a nightmare to go live in there as we've experienced in the past. But I think they know me enough by now, they're super friendly, maybe we can work something out. My Favorite Things collection is back on QVC UK. Have you smelled any of them? Well, um, I have all of the My, My Favorite Things collection, except for the, what was the one that was, like, really rare? I can't remember. Uh, but I love them all. I wouldn't have bought them all if I didn't like them all. Maybe I, maybe we'll do a show around Christmas on those, since they're relevant again. I like the sparkling type candles from last year. Yes, uh, so Liz does have several uh, Christmas fragrances, Carol. Uh, they they are you know in the witch city witch sensibility you know so there's Krampus. Um, there's uh, Christmas morning, morning as in M O U R N I N G. And she's got several others uh, too, I believe. I, I haven't smelled them because like the Halloweens, they are seasonal, so they're not in the shop uh, all of the time or available all year round. Sparkling Flame uh, will be released in October. Cinnamon, cedar, cranberry, peppermint, and holiday sage. That sounds... That's... That's... that's very, very... Uh, uh, Yankee Candle... It's a, it's a very popular Yankee Candle formula. Uh, they do look good, does. All right. How much time? I'm not in any rush, but I want to be making sure that we're talking about aromatics. 43 minutes. Very cool. Do you have... I don't have the Davy Bowie... Uh, Davy. The David Bowie candle. It's called Stardust. Comes in gold and silver glitter on top. Um, I'm surprised she still has them in stock. I think they're sold out on the website, but in the store, she's got quite a few. Uh, I really should buy one. But see, Liz does this thing. Um, every time I go and like I put a bunch of candles on the counter to buy them, or if I order them online, she end up ends up sending them to me for free, or giving them to me for free, or at a very, very big discount. And I tell her, please, please don't, 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 don't do that. There's no reason to do that. Uh, I don't even work in the candle industry, so I shouldn't even be getting a discount, but she insists. I think that's just a testament to her character. Um, so I'm always very worried about buying candle or getting too many candles from her, because I'm, I'm just afraid she's gonna just give me everything, and I don't want, I don't want to be doing that. All right, what else do we got here? Do we have any toys? I need more coffee. I drink some water. Keep keep hydrated. Uh, so if we're just tuning in now, because I see uh, we have a few more uh, people watching now, we did talk about this brand new U.S. released candle, 2017 Christmas collection candle. That was a really weird sentence. Cascading snowberry. Um, I think a very nice, safe 
very safe, but appropriate candle for Christmas. I'm interesting to see it when it burns, what it smells like. I think there may be this black licorice thing that's gonna show up. Again, that black licorice being more of this root beer, ginger beer thing happening. Everyone wants Elsa back. I don't know. We'll have to get Elsa back. I purchased several of the city. All right, so look at this, people supporting Supporting Witch City Wicks. So if you haven't looked into Witch City Wicks, take all of these comments as a testament uh, to, to check out, at least go to the website, witchcitywicks.com. Look at the products. Again, one person with a passion, one person that wakes up every morning with this burning creativity in the heart and in the mind. She's on her six, six, six and a half years now. She built the company from the smallest place possible into what it is today, to the point where she can't even stay in stock. So I have high, high, high hopes that in the coming years, she's, uh, she's gonna really up the production. I, you know, some people might frown upon, upon that, but Liz would never let the quality and consistency get out of her hands. What do I got here? I got some, I got some other aromatic materials. Uh, bean boozled. Someone told me to grab these. I saw them at Party City. Bean boozled. Apparently there's, if you don't know what these are, you probably do. It's the fourth edition. Are these like collectible? two new flavors. So Bean Boozled is kind of like like the Russian roulette of candy where you got some good flavors, got some good flavors and you have some terrible flavors. So let me read them off. Spoiled milk is one flavor in here. Has anybody done this? Vomit flavor and earwax flavor? Um, okay, so coconut, that sounds good. Dead fish. Oh, God. Strawberry banana smoothie. Rotten egg. Buttered popcorn. I've not, never been a fan of buttered popcorn. Toothpaste. Ah, uh, berry blue barf. This is just, this is just wrong. Is this what kids do these days? Peach canned dog food. Canned dog food. That is one thing that really grosses me out. Like a lot of things don't gross me out, but canned dog food is just, it, I can't take it. Chocolate pudding. I don't even want to say this. Booger. Juicy pear, moldy cheese. Caramel corn, stinky socks, tutti frutti, lawn clippings. Now, lawn clippings, that's interesting because I wonder if that's supposed to be a bad one. But I, I would love to have a jelly bean that tastes like lawn clippings. And last, but probably least, lime. So, I don't know, should we open these up and do this or save that for? I don't know, one night when we're bored at a hotel or a motel. You guys let me know. Yeah, I mean, stinky socks, I, I will admit, stinky socks or gym, ba gym bag uh, or locker room, these are popular descriptors on wines among the wine geek crowd. You would never say that to a customer. But sometimes stinky socks, well, just like cheese, right? Um, sometimes stinky socks on, like, say, like a Syrah from the Rhone Valley, the northern, or excuse me, the southern Rhone Valley, uh, is a good thing because it's a part of its flavor profile. But you would never say that to a customer. I have to try them live one day. 
Should I do it now or should I wait? I probably wait. Cat pee. That's that's just too much. That's too much for me. Now these. Keep in mind. I say it all the time. I moved from California. I was there for years. So when I moved back, you know, I had to get a storage. I had a lot of a, this big storage situation. So I'm I'm constantly, even though it's been like a year and a half now, I'm constantly going through stuff and f finding interesting things. And this is something that uh, I found. These used to be on my kind of, I had like a little like end table in, in my, my bathroom where I would have like fancy soaps, even had a chalkboard where I'd write the soap of the week. I'm a geek. I'm a geek. You could use the word loser if you want, but I like I like geek better. And these were two that were in the circulation. It's by a company called Sucre Bell. Sucre Bell. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Sucre, I'm guessing like sugar. And not Bell. It's I don't know how you pronounce it. Four years of French really have served me well. So that's the name of the company that I bought it from. The two bars of soap, you can see they're, they're a little bit melted because they were in storage, but they're still super aerobatic. This one is called Halloween. Um, and it's not just called Halloween because of the holiday. I, I, this was named after the 1978 film, John Carpenter classic. Halloween, you know, Michael Myers. And uh, the notes on this is candy apples, sweet pumpkin, and candy corn. And let me tell you, I wouldn't be showing you these, but when I found these uh, in storage, I'm like, wow. I was reminded how good these were. Uh, these were bought from an Etsy. Uh, this company was an Etsy company. And I love these two fragrances. The second one is Killer Clowns. From outer space look at that and now you can't really see it and I, I apologize about the focusing issue but maybe you can see that can you see the glitter there's glitter in that soap killer clowns from outer space caramel glazed popcorn warm taffy app okay warm taffy apples and salted sweet cream. Wow. I mean, that, I mean, that, those notes alone are incredible. And it, they, this is, I can't get, I can't get over it. This is completely sealed at least uh, twice with saran wrap. And I think I even did. I, I, yeah, yeah, I did. I wrapped shipping tape around this before I packed it, packed it up, before I shipped it to New York, and I can still smell it. And it smells exactly like how it's described. Caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet corn. So uh, check, check this company out. I don't know if they may be going by a different name now. This was a couple of years, but they had a whole bunch of really fun Halloween film theme bars of soap. Uh, and others and other other themed soaps as well, but I thought you know what let's give a shout out to a company that gave me a little joy uh, for a while Sounds similar to Bath and Body Works summer boardwalk. I have that candle and I never reviewed it because I was going to go to Atlantic City and never happened this summer never happened but that's where I wanted to to review it all right and I have to mention this haunted rat says can't wait for the new 2018 Jamie Lee Curtis and John Carpenter Halloween film I'm happy for you I'm happy that you're happy but and I guess they can't do any more damage to the franchise not that I ever thought there was a successful franchise it just it just I kind of it's 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 salt in the wound that John Carpenter 
I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis, she's done it before. She was in H2O, I think Halloween 7. Um, but John Carpenter, the fact that he would support something like this, and he's claiming it's going to be the best Halloween ever, I, I don't think he even knows. I don't think John Carpenter even knows how good his original film is. That's the only that's the only explanation. He doesn't understand himself how good that film was. Uh, I'm happy anyone who's excited about it, and if it just serves as nostalgic purposes or to get Rob Zombie out of the picture, not that I have anything against Rob Zombie either. Um, but you know, he, here's something that John Carpenter once said, and I'm getting off topic, but he said, the only way I would ever do another Halloween film is if they destroyed Michael Myers. He said this, look it up. If they would destroy Michael Myers by putting him in a rocket and shipping him into space. John Carpenter said this. His films, his early films, are amazing, but that's, that's very concerning when an artist would say that. Send Michael Myers to space. Has anyone seen it? I have not seen it. I haven't seen a film in the theater since Moana. Thanksgiving of last year. It's the last movie I saw in the theater. And I'm a moviegoer. Moana. Man, how great is that soundtrack? And that's why if you see my car, you might see it every now and then. I have a little Moana uh, uh, kind of ornament dangling in my car. She's the Voyager. She's joining me on my voyages with you folks out on the road. That's the significance of Moana and the vehicle. Carpenter's the best living director. He's made some very, very amazing movies. He's made a whole lot more that are very questionable. I love the guy to death, but um, I don't know. Some pretty good living directors out there. You don't like scary movies? That's okay. I really don't think you're going to enjoy the Lizzie Borden video then. It's not that it's scary, but I really wanted to make it lighthearted and bubbly, the, the Lizzie Borden thing. And I was perplexed because I was in the house, like I said, I was in the house alone the entire night. And uh, that happened really, I only had about a day to two days notice that I got the okay to make that happen. So there wasn't a whole lot of time to plan because all of the, chan the, 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 the plans changed. I was going to be like reviewing candles in my room at the bed and breakfast. So all of that had to go out the window and... Uh, so I really did the best I could. I mean, remember, I had 12 hours, 12 plus hours to film. A lot of it was improvised. I wanted to make it lighthearted so it wouldn't be creepy and that it would be super friendly. But I am going to put a little advisory in the beginning of the video. I mean, something I never thought I would do. But uh, the material is really heavy. I don't show anything graphic. But... Uh, it's a little bit spooky. It's a little bit spooky. I could see how some folks might um, be a little bit spooked out by it. So I will put a little disclaimer. Da, 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 da. Halloween is my favorite horror film. Scary movie. T time to float. So I heard it is getting pretty decent reviews. For that, I saw the trailer on Lizzie Borden. Yes, thank you for watching it. I was wondering if I could give you like a, another sneak peek. I can give you a, want to see like a sneak peek of the video. 
it'll just be me putting this up to the camera. I can't believe I do this stuff. Would I ever, here we go, I love, I love these questions because would I ever go again and sleep at the Lizzie Borden house? I would go back to document. I don't think I would do it for my own pleasure. It's worth doing once, very interesting. Not just interesting because of the house, but again, you remember, you're in a town, a community. This is their history. This is the story of their town, Fall River, Massachusetts. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's just, so, it, you know, the people that you meet, I was talking to folks at the coffee shop and asking them questions, and it just was perplexing. The one thing I really was not expecting is how many people really truly do not believe that Lizzie Borden committed the murders. And let me tell you, after hearing some of their thoughts, I have to say, I might just agree with them. I might just agree with them. And yet every documentary, every cable television show about Lizzie Borden, every movie based on Lizzie Borden, always depicts her as the murderer. I don't know. How could I sleep? I didn't sleep. I worked. I took every single minute, second, uh, advantage of every second of that night to film. There was no. There was no sleeping involved. Did I get scared? Um, I think I'll dr address that in the video. Um, there were certain things that did happen um, that I noticed. I mean that didn't really make me feel all that comfortable. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the video is uh, one like a little like, I hope this doesn't spook you out. Something that I was seeing all night in the Lizzie Borden house that I really couldn't explain. I mean, it's totally possible that I was doing it. Um, but as I was walking around the house, and I was walking around the house because upstairs is where all the batteries are charging, all my hard drives, computer, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, doing take after take after take, trying to get, uh, make, you know, at least get the really, really nice shots. If I had the really nice shots, I knew that everything else would be easy. But I kept all night finding little bits of paper little bits of paper just kind of randomly scattered and I picked them up because I didn't want the owners thinking I was being sloppy but the more I picked up I just kept finding all night long more little bits of paper everywhere that I mean I, I don't I don't know if there's any significance to that but um, it was kind of like a Hansel and Gretel thing you know the the, the, the breadcrumbs everywhere I went I was leaving little bits of paper and there's other things that happened in the basement. Basement and in Lizzie's bedroom specifically that did not make the experience easy. It was hard to kind of brush that off the shoulder and continue being professional, trying to film all night. Some creepy stuff. And keep in mind, when you get tired, I mean, you know this, when you get tired, and I was tired, I mean, by the time I finally that evening got to sleep, I had. I was up for well over 30 hours, probably like 32 hours at that point, I was fully awake. The t more tired you are, and the more you're pushing yourself, the more stress you have, the more your mind screws with you, messes with your mind, right? Uh, your mind likes to do weird things. And I found that that was happening a little bit. So a lot of the things I was experiencing, I was getting a little bit jittery. Um, was really I mean just because I was just really tired can't wait to see part two of the Lizzie video you know there was a part of me that was gonna po post a part one last night and I didn't do it it's divided into two pieces it's good because it helps the channel because having two videos is always better than having one because you get a little bit more views plus it's it's easier for people to find the video but I kind of made the 
executive decision last night to keep it in one solid piece. But it's going to be long. It's probably going to hit 40 minutes. Do, 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 do. The candle out. All right, folks. So like I said, we had a, I had a few things to talk about today. Uh, but not a lot of like show and tell. Except for the doggy. Um, but know that once this Lizzie Borden video is done, it will be done by tonight. Whether that means you'll be able to watch it tonight, I don't know. Because it might be posted like 3 o'clock in the morning. But I am going to work on it, finish it up, do the best I can. Because I can't devote as much time to editing as I'd like. I just have to pump these out and forgive myself that of any imperfections in the video um, I will post it and then we're going to get a string of videos coming out much more rapidly more rapidly more rapidly um, uh, a lot of uh, we got we got several in between videos that are actually quite funny I mean even funny for me to watch that are going to be coming out. One's going to be at the Lizzie Borden. So everything that you don't see in the Lizzie Borden special, kind of like me being me, you know, and talking about my how scared I was or how scared I wasn't or things that are happening, all of that's going to be included in, in the in-betweens. It's, it's a new uh, series on this channel. Uh, but also, it's, it's apple season. And I, we're in apple country all around me here. So... I'm just going to be going out, filming festivals, uh, markets, farms, trying to film and edit them almost in the same day. And then I think what we'll do is, you know, twice a month I'll focus on these longer videos. Twice a month. Um, but I just had two back to back. That that which city Wix one really even though it might not look like it it did take me a long time to piece that together and this lizzie borden if you add up all of the footage there's about 16 hours of footage because of the multiple cameras so think about just having to go through all of that you know so it's very 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 difficult da, da, da. but we're going to be getting lots lots of more like I don't want to call them daily vlogs, but more, you know, shoot, edit, post kind of videos for a while. Apple anything, pumpkin anything. That's right, you know. Uh, there's pumpkins. See, see my finger. Look at my finger. See that? That's that's a little cottage right there. Right behind that cottage, there's some pumpkins growing, but there's. Uh, of course, many pumpkin patches in New England. So, I'm gonna go out, say on a Monday, go somewhere, visit something, film something, maybe come home, maybe spend a night somewhere, edit, post, and just try to visit as many festive things as possible because up to this point, we've been doing a lot of Halloween. And I want to make sure we really dive into autumn and not forget about autumn. I made the choice to, to tackle Halloween very early this year, but now it's time to celebrate autumn. Um, do we have any questions? Any questions, comments, um, recommendations uh, as far as things you would like to see me do? I always want your guys' feedback. Oh, and while you're answering that question, this is huge for me, and I desperately feel sorry. There's a lot, a lot of comments that I have yet to answer, at least five videos. And honestly, I would love to say I'm going to get on it, and it's going to get much better. But answering the comments the way I answer the comments takes a lot of time. So I, I always said I would get to the point... If I ever got to the point where I feel like I couldn't answer every single comment that I'd let you know. I will try to answer every single comment, but 
I, I'm so far behind at this point that I can't even imagine. It would take me a day to catch up, like one full day answering comments, 12-hour day uh, to, to catch up. So please, please, please leave comments. I do read each and every one. People have been sending me emails saying, have you read my email? And I'm like thinking, I don't know, I don't know. I, there's so many, there's emails, there's your real name, there's your Instagram name, there's your YouTube name. It's very hard for me to keep track of everybody. And yeah, getting close to that 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, things have really slowed down this month as uh, is okay. Um, I think now that we're branching a little bit further away from candles, we're still candles, but we're, we're taking avenues off course. I think some people are not so fond of that, so been losing lots of subscribers as, as well. But you know what? That's okay. That's a part of this process. Um, it's a part of this process. I don't want people to be subscribed if they don't like all the comments or, or all the content. So going back to the comments, trust me that I'm reading your comments. I love all your comments. I want them to keep coming. My fear is that you won't post any comments because you don't think I'll ever answer them. I do read them, I will answer them. I just can't promise that I can get them done on a weekly basis anymore. I mean, after those two weeks of traveling, the last thing I had time to do was answer comments. All right, so let's look at some of these. Yes, so Witch City Wicks does have a, a, a Dragon's Blood candle, as does, I can't remember the name, Coventry Creations. Um, uh, Dragon's Blood is a resin that I know very little about, so I'm very intrigued to not only look into Liz's candle, but also that candle as well. Uh, corn maze would be fun to see. Harvest, yeah, I'll be sure to do a corn maze. I might have to do it during the day. Filming at night is not good for the cameras. Uh, one day I'll have that lens that will shoot beautifully in dark situations. Uh, some of my friends have lenses that go on their cameras where if you're in the Haunted Mansion in Disney World or Disneyland, you can actually, the camera actually picks up the black walls. Like the paint, you can see the walls. Where if I took my camera and filmed in the Haunted Mansion, it would just, the camera wouldn't read anything. It would just be pitch black with a few interruptions of lights and uh, animatronics. So one day I'll get that lens and we could do dark light situations. Um, the Headless Horseman Hayride in, in Ulster Park or Kingston, New York. A lot of uh, you folks have reached out to me saying, hey, it's close to you, you should go. I did. I went last year. Uh, I, I've known the owner of the Haunted Hayride attraction. Uh, it's, it's claim to fame as being the greatest haunted attraction, the greatest haunt park in the country. Um, I think this was, if anyone is from New England, you should know this name. This will forever be America's horror theme park. It's no longer with us. Somebody owns the name and someone's running a spooky world somewhere, but when it was in Berlin, Massachusetts, and even in Foxborough, Massachusetts, this was the place to go. Uh, so I went last year to Headless Horseman to get an interview with the owner about the Sleepy Hollow candle, Headless Horseman Hay Rides, right? And it just didn't go well. Um, our conversation wasn't driving. He was not the kind of person who was... I, could, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get him into the idea of aroma and candles. Just couldn't do it. You know, you think that somebody with such passion for Halloween or a supposed passion uh, would be all over something like that but he kind of just laughed laughed at the situation and I just cut it out plus there's absolutely no photography at the Headless Horseman free promotion free promotion free advertising 
when you pass that stuff up if you own a company just want to put that out there so so pumpkin patches apple orchards festivals they're all over the place I'm gonna to go to crown maple eventually which is my favorite producer of maple syrup beautiful location figured we'd do that soon that's only about a, an hour drive for me county fairs might be a little too late to that uh, for that i was really kind of sad that i didn't do that this year i wanted to do like the the can uh the cotton candy candle um what's the one it's the bath and body works candle the boardwalk candle I wanted to do that perhaps at like a, a carnival. We call them bazaars. I don't know if you guys do too, but in the town that I grew up, it was always the, the town bazaar. And you know, it's just, you know, they're always a little sketchy and the rides are old and rusted, and, but it just adds to the fun. Midnight Cord Maze, fried anything. Maybe we should do a fried episode. Fried. I have to find a really good candle to pair with that, though. Maybe a champagne candle. Because if you ever want to pair a wine with fried food, I mean, you, can, you have tons of choices, but a good quality sparkling wine or champagne with fried chicken, oh, even French fries, you name it mozzarella sticks it's a really good pairing just don't ever pair buffalo wings with champagne not a good situation bamboozled bamboozled I think I'll do I'll film that for an in-betweens segment because I don't know how this is going to go I mean that could take us a while here for me to go through and eat every one of those and describe them. I think Kringle's coming out with a wine and champagne candles. Let's hope that they they get it right. Let's cross our fingers. I don't want them to be bashful. I don't want them to be apologetic. I want them to go for it. I want them to go for authenticity. If it smells like a funky a Bordeaux, it smells like dirt and mud and clay, all of the things that we love about classic French red wine, Bordeaux, I should say. Um, uh, I hope they go for authenticity instead of just giving us a fruit bomb and a candle. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. White lightning. White lightning. All right, so... Last minute questions, and I think we'll wrap this up. Somebody just commented on the trailer for the Lizzie Borden. I'm excited. I'm excited. Some of you guys are not going to like it. I'll put it out there. Some of you guys might be like, oh, you know, I was hoping for something different. But I like it. Monica Carlson. She, ne she never she never misses anything I do. How did I miss it? How did you miss the live? I don't know. We, we talked about a lot today. Everybody say hello to Monica. And Rebecca. I didn't even see that Rebecca was here. She sent... Go to Rebecca's Instagram account and look at the photo that she posted. Or just go to my Instagram account. I reposted it. But then check out... She's... Honestly, I, I, a fantastic photographer, one. But her interior, her sense of interior design is gorgeous. I, I was really blown away with the picture. She, Rebecca, if you don't know, is the winner of my a Sweet Seduction candle with a personalized label. She took a beautiful photo of it, better than I could do it. I went to film school. And uh, I was so I was so touched when I saw that photo. So I just hope everyone sees it. And no question, it looks like she spent a lot of time. And if she didn't spend a lot of time doing it, it, it looks like she did because it's a gorgeous photo. Yeah. See, look, as people have already seen it. 
where did you study? There's a question that hasn't come up for a while. I've been to many schools, uh, and I've studied a lot of things. I was not always a great student, especially in grade school. But I did go to, I'll leave a couple schools out that I attended for a short period of time. But I went to uh, Cooney, Brooklyn, or, or, or Brooklyn College, as I like to refer to it. Uh, their film department, a huge shout out to them. They still are shooting on film, right? The digital thing is great. It is the future of filmmaking, but I'm a strong believer that if you want to become a great photographer, whether that be still photography or motion photography, that you need to really understand how to shoot on film. Film, remember film? 35 millimeter? So a big shout out to them. I also studied at the Culinary Institute of America in both Hyde Park and in um, their Napa Valley campus. What sun sign are you? Like, like, I don't know what sun sign. I'm a Capricorn. Oh, look at this, I studied photo at Marist and we did film. Love Marist. Um, I spent, you know, my high school years and my early, early college years. And then later, I was at the Culinary Institute of America, which is right down the street from Marist. Uh, I spent, so I spent a lot of time around Marist. So a lot of my friends, uh, still to this day, uh, were students of Marist. And Jared, if you know, I don't know how long ago you studied film at Marist, but if you know the Starbucks right across the street, if you ever, if you ever drank coffee there or hung out there, you, we've probably seen each other. We've probably uh, crossed paths because that was essentially my office. They don't have film anymore. I, I mean, I understand. I understand, you know, um, having a film degree doesn't really help you get a job anymore. How many Yankee Candles do I own, Shane? So I don't know. Uh, I stopped collecting, but as it stands today, it's around 300. For some people, that's a drop in a bucket. For some people, that's like I should be in, in an insane asylum. So it's around 300, but I, I just don't collect anymore. Like if you, if you came up to me and said, I, you know, I want that candle. Can I have it? Some of them, I'd probably say absolutely no. But for the most part, you know, I do. I, I, I you know, Monica's here. Like, I, I went to Thanksgiving uh, to, uh, to Monica and my brother's apartment in Burbank a couple of years ago. I brought them uh, Thanksgiving Day, is that what it's called? No, turkey and stuffing. I brought them a brand new turkey and stuffing and we lit it and I just left it for them. I let them have it because it's like wine. You get to a point where you have just too many. Unless you really are a collector and you don't burn them, um, there's no need to have too many. Shorts Russ, SAG here, you're, you're SAG? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, the Actors Guild? Cool. Should be talking to my brother, not me. He's the filmmaker. Capricorn's rule. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Um, Monica, I love turkey and stuffing, but I hate it at the same time. Yeah, it kind of, kind of is overkill, right? It doesn't really make sense. I think, like, you know, if you're like a, a traveler or you're travel for business or something like that, and you're home away for Thanksgiving, maybe it's a nice little candle to have, you know, to recreate that experience. Or if you're longing for Thanksgiving and say spring, light up that candle, let it go. You know what I mean? Uh, same thing goes, I mean, I do that. A lot of people ask me if I'm a seasonal candle burner. And I was responding to them wrong. 
for a long time because I now know that seasonal candle burner, what they mean is I only burn candles at certain times of the year. What I, what I mean is I, uh, I burn, like I have no problem burning a Christmas candle in February or in, in April, July, and Halloween, same thing. You know, to me, candles are an escape. So sometimes I feel like it's more suitable to have a nice, quiet Sunday morning where you don't have to do anything. Maybe, you know, if it's a gloomy day outside or if it's a really hot day outside, put on a Christmas candle, put on a Christmas movie, escape to Christmas for a couple hours. I always find that that's healthy. Um... Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm wondering if we could get Elsa back on camera for a few moments before we sign out for the day. Oh my God, people are saying good night. All right, good night. Shorts Russ. Shorts Russ. And is Jamie leaving too? Oh, wow. All right, Jamie. And Jamie postcard. Um, I sent you one. There's more coming. And anybody who's a Patreon member who gets postcards, it's not a one-time thing. I say it's a one-time thing. I will be sending you more cards for holiday special occasions. Uh, but my main concern is a lot of people haven't sent me a shipping address yet. And if you're one of those people, if you're a Patreon member, uh, patreon.com slash the candle enthusiast the candle enthusiast check it out uh, the link is everywhere on my page uh, look at how that works but there's a lot of you who you know are awaiting a card and it might be my fault if you haven't received one yet and you should have make sure you send me an email candle enthusiast at gmail excuse me no see this is why I have to type it out Uh, send me an email to this address with your a shipping address I mean whatever you have if you want a postcard because I want to make sure that I'm getting them out and patreon has really been blowing up uh, I'm so happy to see how you know for a couple months there we were raising like five dollars five dollars a month and now we're raising a pretty good amount a significant amount more than I could ever really hope for um, and I will say this. I mean, you could look at it as Yankee, my trip to Yankee Candle, or you could look at it to the, the, the Lizzie Borden. I'm going to say the Lizzie Borden. The contributions from you guys, you guys paid to make that happen. And it wasn't a very, 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 very expensive thing to do because I, I talked, worked it out with the proprietors of that bed and breakfast. But it wasn't a small bill. And... You guys wanted it. You supported uh, uh, me through eBay, through uh, uh, Patreon, through just watching the videos. You're supporting me because that revenue from the ads rack up. Um, so we actually funded the Lizzie Borden video. You guys, you guys, you guys produced that video. You produced it. You are producers. Isn't that awesome? Whew, awesome. Good night for everyone who is leaving us. Do I have any other candle brands besides Yankee Candle and Kringle? I, I do. I just don't buy them. I just don't buy them because I've gotten out of that collector's mode. You know, like Coventry Collection. I had to buy all four of these to review all four. I could have just bought the original, the original which is brew candles here, but there's three others. I could have just bought this one and reviewed it, but I had to buy all four. And now that I have all four, I don't want to give them away. You see, I have this this collecting problem. I'm sure you, some of you folks have the same thing. And, you know, that's money. That's money that could be going into uh, this channel. So I want to make sure that I'm living frugally I love experiencing candles. I've been reaching out to other candle companies to see if they want to promote their candles. 
not sponsored or anything like that, but you know, uh, um, promote their candles on the candle enthusiast. I'll review them. I'll show you my thoughts, and I'll post. I'll link them up so you guys can make any purchases or visit their websites. But this way, the candles are coming to me at a reduced cost, or in most cases, free of charge. Uh, Lori brings up Root Candle. Root chose me. I'm ashamed of myself. They chose me. You know this. You probably know this. They chose me as Votivo is coming soon, Monica. And actually, for those who are in the Candle of the Month Club, Votivo, Votivo. If you don't know who they are, look into them. But not cheap. But you got to look into them. Monica will testify to that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so um, the Root Candle, uh, they, they chose me to review a candle. It was called Vineyard Chateau. This is the perfect time of the year. Actually, it was probably a couple weeks ago to film the review. I still haven't done it. And I feel terrible, but, you know, um, th that's a video I would really want to impress them with. And I just, you know, other things get in the way. So I will be doing that video on that candle, but I want to go somewhere to film it. It's not going to be Napa Valley. We'll do Napa Valley sooner or later, but it's not going to be Napa Valley. But I am going to go to wine country and film a video on that candle for roots. The candle smells great. I smelled it. It smells great. Ooh, root sparkling champagne is amazing. Candleland. All right, Candleland. Have a good night. I, I will, uh, sending a hug and kiss to Elsa. How beautiful is that? Thank you very much. Let's see if we, I will review Krampus for Christmas. I will do that. Which city wicks? Let's get Elsa back. Let's see if we can get her back. Would you guys be totally upset with me if I disappear for 20 seconds? Dead air? You know what? I can play music while while we wait. How's that? I'll go grab her because a people a couple people want to see her. Yeah, royalty free, baby, royalty free. Kind of sounds like the doors, does it not? I'll be right back. Monica, have you seen? It's elevator music. It's not elevator music. Have you seen? Have you seen Elsa? Elsa tried to. She did. She followed you on Instagram, and you did not follow her back. And I have to say, she was very upset by this, Monica. Um, so this is uh, Elsa from Arendelle. I'm sure you've heard the name looks a little bit different than what you might expect uh, and she's uh, she's got an Instagram account so we'll post it one more time only because she's you know she's self-conscious you know she 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 wants she needs some friends I will try to make sure that she's posting plenty of photos interesting ones 
her fighting with Santa Claus. Santa is a little bit distraught. He is not... He's not, he's not really happy with the situation. For a while there, he had his back turned. And then he said, you know what? I'm better than this. Bam. So there it is. Follow the little one on Instagram. Elsa. She is... How old are you? She's about 12 weeks. 12 weeks. Right? She's already sort of gotten potty trained. Very intelligent dog, I have to say. She's got lots of new friends. She is a character. She really is. She loves she loves paper. She's chewing on my Yankee Candle bag right now. All right, folks. It's always a lazy pug. Uh, I love pugs. I was going to, for the longest time, I had my mind made up that I was going to buy uh, a blue or black um, uh, French Bulldog. But... Simply, simply could not afford one, and I'm, 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 I'm happy because uh, she was a little surprise. No allergies for me, and she doesn't shed. Pug is named Chewy. Nice, nice, nice. She kind of, she's got a little Chewy thing going on here. The hair. So thank you guys for joining today. Uh, we're almost at 100 minutes, so I definitely do want to say goodbye because I do have editing to do. Uh, Lizzie Borden is going to be coming up tonight. And if Lizzie Borden is not your thing, it's too gothic, it's too scary, it's too... Kindle Cafe, Anthony, how you doing? Just saw you there. Um, if it's too graphic, it's not your thing. Or if you would find it disrespectful, a lot part of me fell and was like, you know, my being disrespectful on this topic, you know, regarding, you know, the tragedy that occurred in that house, uh, feel free to skip it, uh, or at least know that my intentions were in a good place. I did not mean to in any way um, mock or even just capitalize on what happened in that house. But then after seeing or hearing about the TLC special last night, the ghost hunters, I'm like, why was I so worried? You know, it's like, man, like that's, I mean, that, if they're going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it my way. Uh, but it is a departure from anything I've done before. It's a little bit creepy, but I think those who are into that or brave at heart uh, will enjoy it. And it's definitely something different than what you probably expect. So definitely keep your eye on that. If it's not posted by late tonight, it will be posted like in the middle of the night because I'm not going to stop editing till it's done. And uh, you'll see it first thing in the morning. And please, please, if you like it, share it. Or if you choose not to watch it, Share the Witch City Wix video. Share another video. Share, Start sharing. Share your favorite videos. Then I know which ones you like, which ones you don't. And it also is going to help us grow. Let's get over this 2,000 subscriber mark. Uh, it seems like we're tippy-toeing to that number. Do I sleep? I really appreciate the comment, Lori. I really do. Do I sleep? I, I do. I do sleep. But uh, there are no days off when I'm doing this. I mean, I do have my responsibilities in my own life. I have to take care of that. Now I have this little this creature down here chewing on wires. Stop that. Um, but my main objective, my main priority in my life right now is this. I'm not kidding. This is not a hobby for me, the candle enthusiast. I really want to turn this into something special and I really really want to see this grow organically always saying it when I sign off bigger 
our audience, the more people we're going to uh, to reach, and uh, the more we'll be able to fund further adventures. Trust me, I want to get in the car or in the plane or on the bus. I want to come to your hometown so you can show me all the cool things to document. I want to do all of that. I want to go to the smaller candle companies. I don't want to just go to a candle company like Werther and Gray. A lot of people you said you got to check out Werther and Gray. I agree with you. But instead of just reviewing the candles, why don't we just go there? Let's let's go and like let's talk to the proprietor. I believe his name is uh, I think it's Kenny. I'm not sure. I could be wrong about that. But let's go there and talk to them. So it's not just about reviewing candles that we're we're getting more important information and we'll make an adventure out of it. Um, shout out for Long Island, New York. Long Island, yes, definitely. And Demore says, I'm the father. Elsa wants coffee. See, look, she's intrigued by the smell. Look at that, full face. Full face in the coffee, she can't lick it. I don't think she can. You're not drinking coffee, are you? I think she might have just licked a few drops of coffee. I should not have done that. This is my first time being a full puppy proprietor, owner. I don't know what's politically correct. But um, yeah, so uh, if you're here new, uh, watching for the first time, Hit the subscribe button. Take take a chance. Take a chance. Give me a little time to prove to you that this is not just another YouTube channel. We're trying to create internet entertainment or internettainment, as the the, the Link and uh, Link and uh, Rhett say on Good Mythical Morning. Right? We're 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 trying to create a different form of entertainment. At least I'm trying trying my very best and the more of us there are um, Jenny in Wonderland or Jenny Wonderland won a shout out to her channel huge shout out to her channel if you folks are not subscribed let me just highlight her name but the more people we have the more likely we'll um, be able to visit bigger and better places. Cruise, perhaps? Nova Scotia? We mentioned Nova Scotia. I really want to go to old Quebec City. Need to get down south. Definitely need to get down south. Many places down south. I was supposed to go to uh, like the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area this this year wasn't in the budget, but that does not mean it will not happen. And then, uh, so many people have been giving me great recommendations for Christmas, places like in Ohio and Michigan and Pennsylvania. And, um, so, love to go, would love to go. Christmas right now, keeping everything a surprise. We're gonna end this vlog by showing you a brief little clip, a sneak peek exclusive to the folks still joining us of the Lizzie Borden video. Da, 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 da. Let, da, da, da. let me just pick one. Now let me show you this one because this might be an edited sequence. I might have to cut this one out. So you're seeing a deleted scene, potentially. All right, let's do this. How can we do this? I really wish you could zoom. All right, look at this, look at this. How professional. The thing is, I might be a little out of focus. Bye, Rachel. Are you really going to miss the sneak peek?
So this is deleted scene, no color correction yet, no music yet, but I don't think there would be music in this part. Let me just, uh, let's give this a roll. I'm rewinding. Let's start it from, I'm showing you guys entirely way too much. The stories, the tales, the conspiracies, I don't think the mystery will ever truly be solved. But I will spend the night in this house and I will document everything I can with only one tool in my hand, a camera. So I'll ask you one more time, will you join me? You will? Then let's do this. It's, uh, it's past midnight, and it just so happens that I am the only person in this house. But meanwhile, my footage is backing up to uh, the hard drives that I have upstairs. I should have done that sooner. It's going to waste me about an hour, but I think having this quiet time to reflect about uh, where I really am, what I'm doing, letting it all sink in. On what will surely be one of the most peculiar evenings of my entire life, with a little bit of persuasion and a whole lot of curiosity, I've been convinced to spend the entire night alone in this home. I've already experienced several things that uh, have made me feel not so comfortable. I uh, had the impulse, as soon as I was left alone in this house and given the key, to close all of the windows, not just the windows, but like the shutters on the windows, you know, like, I don't know what you call them. And then I showered, I did get prepared for filming, and um, in Lizzie's bedroom, two window shutters were and not just a little bit, they were open. Now, the windows were open. Draft? Yeah, probably. But you say that to yourself when you're in this position. You close Lizzie Board's bedroom windows, and you come back five minutes later, and they're open. You try to remain calm in that situation. It's gonna be a long night. So, like I said, folks, that potentially might be a deleted scene for obvious reasons. It's a full two-minute kind of monologue. And, you know, those two minutes when you're an editor is like a lifetime. But it really did... I like how it sets up the quiet that was in the house. And it shows a little bit more of how I really was feeling because for the rest of the video, you know, I'm performing to the camera, right? So I, I like that there's a little bit more of me, my experience, me not trying to hide anything. I, li I like that little scene, but it, it might get cut. It may not. It might get moved to a different location. But that is uh, two minutes of what is already 26 minutes and 54 seconds, and uh, we're still, we still have a whole third act to edit.
before I complete this. So we're looking at easily a 40, 40 minute plus video when that is completed. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. For those of you who stayed around for the entire live, that's your little treat. You will see, fingers crossed, but you will see the full video live tomorrow posted in the uploads. I'm excited about this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you understand that it's not a big candle show that it's just a different avenue of uh, programming that I'm taking, uh, but it does fit into that category of much longer epic style video that I haven't done in the longest time. So it feels so great to get one of these done. Uh, so that is that. I need to get to work and I need to get these candles out of this heat. Uh, as always, I wanna thank you guys for joining me. I wanna thank you for all your support on eBay and Patreon. I wanna thank you for just watching. I wanna thank Rachel one more time for creating the Candle Enthusiast fan page on Facebook. Make sure uh, you check out the link in my videos to get there and, and join. Uh, it's a closed group, but it, you know if you wanna get in, I'm sure she'll grant you access. Um, a lot of, lot of other content coming soon, and I mean it. I mean it, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm re always ready to work. I'm always caffeinated, ready to go. Uh, if anything, I feel like time moves too quickly. So, stay tuned. Recommend the channel to friends. Let's get over that 2,000 mark. If you've been watching and you haven't thumbs up already, maybe you want to do that. Maybe. Helps out. Helps out. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. But until then, be good. You know? Just don't do anything. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do, right? I do some pretty stupid things, though. I think the video you're going to see tomorrow is a testament to that. I've said testament four times on this live vlog. I don't know if you've been counting, but I've been counting. Angie, bye-bye. Lori C. And Nancy, thank you all for joining. From Elsa, from Santa, and myself, have a great Sunday. Have a great week, and we'll be seeing you soon. And we're going to hit that finish button. Monica wants me to call her. Oh, God. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Bye, Linda.